how is discretionary income calculated for student loans? And this is a great question and it comes up a lot. So I wanted to break it down for you. Um, and this is a formula. This isn't like an arbitrary thing. So discretionary income is calculated as your adjusted gross income, subtracting 150% of the federal poverty line for your state. Um, and that gives you your discretionary income. And that is how you calculate your income driven repayment plan payments. So here's an example to break it down. Let's just say you're married, you have one child, so you're a household of three people. You have an adjusted gross income of $50,000 a year. That puts your poverty guidelines in the lower 48 states at 25,820. So you take 50,000, you do 150% of the 25,820, and that gets you 11,270. So that number is considered your discretionary income, which is what they calculate your student loan payments on. So in this example, if you were on IBR, uh, be at $94 a month would be your student loan payment. Um, the SAVE student loan repayment plan, which is currently paused, increased the percentage to 225% of the poverty line, which is also what helped people lower their payments significantly because it let you shield a lot more income as discretionary income. Um, so hopefully that helps you understand it. If you want to run your numbers or see what your discretionary income is, we have a link in bio to our discretionary income calculator, which automatically pulls all this data and lets you understand how to calculate your income. So hopefully that helps understand what is discretionary income and how it's used to calculate your monthly student loan payment.